Okay, so what we got today, we're going to test out the Rust Buster machine, just to show an actual video of it working. And I've got a hole right here that's drilled hole, but there's a lot of little blast around it. And that's the hole I'm going to focus on. I'm just going to take some aluminum tape. And I'm going to backfill that that hole. I, I don't. You don't have on a hole this big. You you really don't have to backfill it. But just to make it easy for my video, that's what that's what we're going to do. So again, that's the hole we're going to focus on. I mean, it'll probably get some up here, but I just want to fill up this blast. And uh, and I like to push the tape in a little bit. Let, let material fill in there and, and just give it some thickness so when you grind on this it, it'll you know it'll, it won't like it won't be like it's on the top of the surface and once you grind it, it it's out of there so that'll get that backing helps with that okay so here's the rust busters machine it's an esau welding enclosure that's been custom made for this process it has two wire feeds that feed zinc wire 100% zinc wire through these to this gun and when they make contact they arc and the compressor this air pressure is what blows the material onto your substrate so these, wi these wire spools, they're available through wire industries like this one. It's got the dimensions on there. Or there's a Platt Brothers. And you can see inside this case, it's basically hollowed out. It don't, you know, the wire spools are out here, so you don't have it here. And then you have the dual feed, and electrical is all hooked up there. You got a safety fuse. And uh, so, standard 220 plug, that's a two flat blade and a, a half round uh, on a 40 amp or 60 amp breaker. I think we got ours on a 60 amp. And these are the settings, and I got them written down. So, wire speed is 3, 90 psi on your your air supply these dials you'll never have to move but it's it's marked three and medium and then you are on and off switch um, I did have some problems this thing got bumped up to here it's easy to do and I was having all kinds of wire feed problems I was out here a half hour messing with this and then I realized my wire speed was off I reset it and I did the whole car in one one sitting <laughs> it was like a, a night and day so that that's something you gotta watch because uh, it, it can it can bite you so we're set up here and I'm gonna set this piece on a table or board or something and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and coat it okay so I taped it down because this thing, you know, it's unstable, it'll blow it off. Got the gun, machine's on. Got pliers and cutters. Sometimes you'll get where they're not aimed at each other correctly. And you gotta, you gotta play with it a little bit. You may have to cut them and start over. It won't affect the spray, though. I just wear sunglasses. I do this outside. Paint booth is preferable. Okay. I'll let the wire touch that. Which I shouldn't have done. Here we go.
Now I actually did more. You can see when I grind that, it'll, it'll level out. It shows the lower spot still. I could have kept building this up, but I just know, you know, I'll be here grinding for a while and I don't want to sit there and grind it. Now this is hot, but it's not hot enough it's going to catch this on fire. I, I had let that wire feed out too far and it was too close and I actually burned a hole in this because it arced on that. So that was my fault, not, not anything of the machine. But I like to do this outside because if you do this in the shop and you're enclosed, the, the smell of the zinc, it, it, it'll get to you. So if you can do it outside or when nobody else is around in the shop and, and plenty of ventilation, you'll be fine. But that, that'll be filled. I'll, I'll hit it with a grinder to show you too on this next pass. in there and there's a the repair now that's zinc it will not rust it's it's done so if you want to back treat that you'll be fine it'll, it'll never rust through this 